Incoming transmission. Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie, back another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection issue review. This time featuring issue 169 we have Kez's shuttle from Star Trek Voyager. This is an interesting looking shuttle and um, really looking forward to kind of getting up close and personal with it. A uh, big shout out to Hero Collector for sending this over. It gives me the opportunity to review uh, the model. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. We're going to have a look at the model and we're going to have a look at the magazine and see what goodies lay inside. I've been unboxing a fantastic model and magazine. I just want to take a moment to say thank you so much to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. Um, I'm so humbled by your support and you help me continue to uh, deliver content to you folks and learn and improve and hone the skills. So your support is greatly appreciated and makes these videos um, a reality. So thank you so much and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Let's open it up. This much easier to open than the previous model. <laughs> So here we have our magazine, Kez's Shuttle, we need to straighten that out a little bit. And uh, here we have the model. So let's unbox the model and uh, check it out in uh, glorious detail, shall we? So, die cast, plastic aft, looks like a nice little craft, kind of something out of like a classic sci-fi almost kind of aliens just with the color scheme as well you know you could kind of see this nipping away from the Sulaco or something like that that's cool we'll put that to one side we have our mount and we have our base let's open up this again you're all used to the irish tricky asmr right now two five six eight a slash a half mount Leans back a little, but nothing too severe. That's going to look quite nice on the stand, I'd say. Let's check out the model. So Kez's shuttle, aka ramming speed, um, it's quite nice. Really kind of, almost kind of like I said, kind of classic sci-fi vibes. A little bit of detailing just on the bow of the ship as well. Paint alignment looks good. Nice, clean, crisp canopy. Or engine modules with the kind of trifoil, no, not even quad foil um, aspect on it as well. Nice detailing and paneling going around. The sculpt is pretty nice. Paint, it's nothing too crazy. There's a kind of wash over it to make it look like it's worn. It's an old craft. A little bit of yellow detailing going down the engine struts there as well. And some engine modules painted with a little bit of kind of gunmetal grey. Same as with the, the engine cowlings down here as well. So overall, the paint isn't hugely exciting, but it would be what I think we would have seen on screen. Um, all the detailing really is in the paneling, which has been brought out by a wash on that as well. So we have for four engines and some kind of modules on the wings. I'm not sure what they are, but they're there all the same. Maybe weapons or vents or additional intakes of some sort as well nice shuttle though i do like it i think it was only an occupancy of one as far as i remember but uh met, it, it made a fateful end and uh yeah it's just it's a, it's a curious one it's a nice size for a single craft um i wish we had like some more of the famous shuttles uh in here in this kind of scale as well outside of the shuttle pack because the shuttle ones are quite small but um yeah, it's gonna be cool. Be interested to see what this looks like on the stand though, because of the the kind of the ventral and dorsal fins here on it. Um how do you, how does one get into this shuttle? I don't see any obvious kind of hatch on it, unless it kind of comes down here maybe. Cause that looks like just cool kind of engine modules back here. You're not going to crawl through the engine assembly anyway, would you? But anyway, let's check out what she looks like on the stand. So here we have Kez's shuttle. As I say, sits nice and high. That, set, that ventral um, wing 
isn't impacting the stand at all and it's pretty stable in there as well but it hangs over I think quite nicely and nice little elevation on it as well to give it a bit more of a dynamic feel on the base itself as well but again in true hero collector fashion the stand blends into the ship it doesn't take away and it still gives you all of the nice features of the engine assembly again you can still see those uh, port and starboard wings and the kind of full body of it as well uh, still to me a very classic design for for like a modern trek as well i could see this in a classic sci-fi movie um pretty pretty easily but um let's compare it to a ship on the line just to kind of get a sense of scale shall we just because i don't think i'm ever going to get a reason to dust off uh neelix's ship uh here we go kez and neelix reunited on screen for the first time in uh, years and years and years and years <laughs> but um yeah two very different ships from connected characters this is the ship that brought uh kez and neelix uh on their journeys before voyager methinks and um again kez's return to voyager as well on her shuttle um comparable in in size obviously different scale ships uh, for sure but um, yeah, I haven't looked at uh, Neelix's craft in a long time, uh, to be honest with you. But uh, these two do look quite nice together. Um, again, very alien ships when you compare them to the Federation aesthetic, um, especially Neelix's one. Um, it's quite utilitarian. Uh, again, function over uh, design maybe. But um, pretty cool, all the same. Very curious to know what you folks think at home. So issue 169, Kez's shuttle, 24th century, crew one, location, Delta Quadrant. Let's see what goodies lay inside here. Uh, five sections in this actually. So we have Kez's shuttle, designing the ship, writing the return, the uh, digital revolution, and on-screen appearances. Mounting instructions, close-up graphics, uh, four engines. Again, for a small ship, that's quite, that's quite numerous. We may have some redundancy in there. So, the aged the, an aged Kez returned to Voyager aboard a shuttlecraft, but she was not the Ocomp and the crew remembered. Yes, yes, yes. So, Kez, Kez. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the character Kez. Um, so here we have, again, just the arrival off the shuttle. An older Kez, yeah, she... The old Compens and their life cycle. <laughs> Uh, the four engine shuttle was picked up on Voyager sensors as soon as Captain Janeway gave Kez permission to dock with Voyager's shields down. Kez rammed the shuttle into the ship's hull, beamed aboard uh, seconds before the impact. Hmm. Yeah, and man, she started ripping up. She started ripping up those corridors, didn't she? It's been a while since I saw that episode, in all fairness, though. Um, here we have some on screen shots. Uh, saving the future. All that good stuff. So we have a lot of kind of background lore on it. Um, so the shuttle redress so in famous Star Trek fashion ships get reused again painting the nacelles and stuff like that as well so again Voyager 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 so through four season five season six seven um, that shuttle I didn't realize that shuttle got used that much but there you go the CG revolution <laughs> so the Brian Fuller played a, a big role in Voyager anyway for sure and uh, Kez went through, you know, some interesting story arcs. Uh, not my favourite story arcs, but listen, is what it is. Um, I'm not surprised that they didn't destroy practical sets for Kez's return. But again, you know, Voyager was in that kind of era where uh, it was really coming over into practical effects, which have their place and look absolutely amazing. But... Um, to be replaced i like a combination of both but like cg nowadays is it, it can get hard to distinguish between um the two of them uh but the advantage of cg we've seen some epic battles um in uh, seasons but again that was done well with practical models to a degree so yeah anyway there's some good stuff in that magazine for sure coming up soon we had the starship uh tunkase which appeared in Voyager as well. So we have a little bit of a Voyager uh, run in the reviews at the moment. But um, Kez's shuttle, first appearance, Fury, Star Trek Voyager, 
seen in season four, five, uh, six and seven, I think it was, or maybe not five, but anyway, showed up in a few different guises as well. So let's close out on the back graphic, shall we? So folks, we'll wrap it up there for today's video. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the review. If you're new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button? Your support is always appreciated. And check out the description box for all previous reviews as well as associated links as well. Um, as always, uh, stay safe. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, weekend, week, whenever you're watching this. And uh, I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.